Okay, welcome back. This is just kind of a continuation of my Katarin review. Not much to do with Katarin, but more to do with Two Bright Sparks Sync Back. Now right here, I have my actual thumbstick with all my files. Now, just today, I ran Katarin and it pulled up quite a few updates, as well as me going through and reorganizing the thumbstick. So if you look over here at my main directory, you'll see that antivirus, um, the application directory is gone completely. Um, some of the stuff is moved into repair tools, like original files, that kind of stuff. Uh, if we go back a little bit more, you'll see that free stuff now includes a lot of the stuff in applications. Um, so some files went here, some went there. Now, like I said, I would normally copy and paste it from... I would just delete it off the thumbstick and copy and paste it from uh, Drive D to the thumbstick. But there again, you're transferring a good four gigs all over again, and who wants to do that? This is a little bit faster. So now we're going to go back to my um, sync back. And these are all the backup routines I have. This one, um, folder backup to portable, assumes that all my devices mount as drive N. And they mostly do. Otherwise, whatever they mount as, I just change it. Um, I always make sure the decision um, underneath here is always to delete from destination if nothing is in the source. So we're going to go ahead and uh, run the file. And you'll see how much has changed. <laughs> Quite a few. So let's bring it over here. Oops. All of this stuff has changed. Now, it might look like it's copying a bunch of stuff, but this program doesn't actually move. It just deletes from one location and recopies it to, to the new location. So, yeah, it doesn't say copy from here, paste to here. It just deletes and recopies. So, okay, so we're going to go ahead and click Run. And you'll see now it's deleting all the stuff on my thumbstick, putting the stuff where it's supposed to be, yada yada. There's a new version of Avast I put on there too. Um, so we'll see how long this takes. Oh, and by the way, I'm using my new Snowflake microphone on top of my LCD screen, rather than my Samsung um, big stick microphone, USB. This one's not so much my face. I just kind of talk and it picks me up. It's pretty good, 45 bucks. It's not bad. Okay, so here it shows how many files we have left. 38, 33, 31. There's not that many big files. Most of it's just kind of small stuff. And there again, it's the thumbstick. If I do this on my external hard drive I carry with me, it goes much faster. Yeah. And for some reason, NOD32 is detecting some kind of um, adware inside the unlocker tool. I should really get a new version. That one's kind of old. Probably some stupid tool where you can uncheck during the installation. And then because it deleted that file, it's going to fail on the backup, but oh well. This is exciting. They're going to actually move rootkit scanners from rootkits under applications to um, spyware removers and malware tools. And a new version of um, TeamViewer. So yeah, it's just one click and you walk away. It's pretty awesome. Before I leave, I'll go ahead and show you my Katarin folder. Now, today it looks like it's been timing out on File Hippo. I don't know if it, I think it's File Hippo's having some issues today through Katarin, but here is all my setup files. This stuff right here is from my setup file directory. And down at the bottom, is all the stuff on my thumbstick that updates with just one click of the mouse button. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so I think it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and close it and take a, a look at our thumbstick. Here is the original folder. And now here is the new folder. See how they match? Antivirus, malware cleaners, rootkit scanners, so anyway, that was just a follow-up to my Gitarin to show you, um, because before I showed you just two files, this was updating my entire thumbstick and then how well it worked. See you later.